with the Yankees, Aaron Judge. We saw him hit 62 mm -hmm. home runs this year. That was 61 years after Roger Maris hit 61. Do you consider Aaron Judge now to be the overall MLB home run king, or is does that mantle still belong to Barry Bonds? No, he's the, he's the home run king. I'm with you. I mean, if, if they've done some, some pretty good studies on how much distance it adds to, to be on roids the way that, that Bonds was. And then they actually measured that against the length of his home runs the season that he hit 73. And what they found is that if you take away the home runs that were hit, you know, kind of in that, in that gap, right, you know, if, if, if hitting a, a home run on steroids means that you're adding 15 feet to the ball, how many were hit just 15 feet beyond the wall, right? Uh, and what they found is that he actually hit about 53 home runs that year. So, I mean, it's still a huge year, but, but not 73 mm -hmm. home runs. It's the same thing with McGuire, yeah. right? If, if, you were, if, you were on, if you were on the juice if, and, and you were hitting the ball barely over the fence, it's not over the fence if you're not hitting it without the steroids. And Judge is... He kind of reminds me of, of Maris in a sense, right? I mean, Maris won an MVP before he, he actually broke the home run record. He was a very good player for, for his entire career, but he wasn't, like, the best player yeah. in the majors. They didn't even and, want him to break the record. They wanted Mickey Mantle to break the record. Right, exactly. And, and you, you see that a little bit with Judge. I, you know, it's an amazing stat. I was, I was looking this up because Judge has gotten so much hype the past few years. If you look at his career war and then you look at Mike Trout's career war, they're the exact same age. Right, Trout and Judge, I believe Judge is 31, and Trout, I think, is also 31 or 32. And Trout's career war is more than twice as high sure. yeah. as, as yeah. Judge's is. But because Judge has gotten all this focus by being in New York, which, again, shows you the, the power of, of being in New York and how MLB has really failed to make stars of its stars. But, yeah, I mean, Judge, Judge is, he's the guy. I mean, I, I think that anybody who has set a record from the steroid era, basically, those should all have asterisks, and, and Judge shouldn't. Yeah, well, so, oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, we had John Brinkett, the yeah, guy from Sports Science, say. on here. And he... He was trying to explain it to me, and I, I just, in my mind, and Ben, I, I, I agree with you, and, and the, it's just, in my mind, if you take steroids, it's going to help you hit the ball further. He said it doesn't he pushed technically back on that. help you hit the ball further. He said it increases your mass, eyesight. It increases your mass. It, it's, well, that's my thing. I look at, look at Barry Bonds hit a home run when his head was twice the size of, your head doesn't get bigger. That's not how it works. He was obviously on steroids. We know about the diaries and all that stuff. But when you look at Barry Bonds and the home runs that he hit, and it's not just the towering shots that went in Nima Covey Cove. Right. It's the ones that you miss that sneak over the fence. Mm -hmm. Or in Aaron Judge's case, you're playing in a little league field in right field, let's be honest, and when you can hit the ball the other way, which is a credit to him, letting the ball travel, letting it get deep, uh, th that's great. But when it comes to steroids, Blaine, there's no way in hell, I don't care if John Brinkus, Bill Nye the science guy, or, or Carl Sagan walks in yeah. here, that steroids don't help you hit the ball further. I mean, look, I'm not going to sit here and the only scientist I believe in is John Brinkus. But, uh, <laughs> the one other person who I believe in more is, uh, that that would be you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blaine, so, John, John, you came on the show. Right there. Wow. Uh, Sean, John, you came on the show. You, you, lied, you lied to me, but uh, at the end of the day, I always come back to this. He's friends with Larry Fitzgerald, so I always... <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, there's one other point that, that should be made about the Bonds era, and that is that if all the pitchers were also on roids during that era, so people say, well, you know, that, that neuters, mm -hmm. you know, the effect. The opposite. Because yeah. if, you, if you throw the ball faster because you are on steroids and somebody has higher bat speed because they're on steroids, the that's ball is going point. further. Yeah. Yeah. That's an interesting point. Uh, one of the things Brinkus was talking about was how steroids um, improves your hand-eye coordination, which would still make sense with Barry Bonds because he's top six all-time in on-base percentage, top five all-time in, in OBS, uh, something like that. Uh, so he was taking a lot of walks, too. You know? But my thing with it is for Major League Baseball, just remove him from the records then. What, what's so tough for me is when I go on MajorLeagueBaseball.com, and you see Barry Bonds' name still at the top of all-time home runs and the most in a single season, uh, you can put an asterisk or you can say whatever you want, but that's still the name at the top of the list. Take that off there, and it would be easier for people to say, you Or know just what? asterisk it. I mean, by the way, they asterisk Maris. Right? I know, first because, but that was fewer games or more games. Right, and, I, yeah. and the point that I'm making is if you're going to asterisk people based on different standards, they should asterisk everything by Bonds. I mean, this is, sure. this is, this is fairly obvious. Sure. I mean, and by the way, the case to asterisk Maris wasn't a bad case. I mean, no. he, he played more games. You, yeah. you have more home runs and yeah, more games more than Ruth, and that's, that's more ABs. I mean, it's, and if you it's, look it's, at the 154, he didn't hit 60 in 154. So there was a case to be made. Right. It, it, yeah. Exactly. So, you know, again, Judge versus versus Bonds, it not, take, you're not taking anything away from Bonds being one of the great all-time players. Sure. But he's because he's one of the great all-time players before he actually was on the Roids. Mm -hmm. Same thing with Clemens, right? So some of these guys were great all-time players before they were on the One of the great ironies of the way that it's worked with the Hall of Fame is that you have a bunch of players who probably were on the Roids and only made the Hall of Fame because they were on the Roids, like David Ortiz. And, and, and maybe, <laughs> who, was, who was hitting 20 home runs when he was with the Minnesota Twins, and suddenly he's with the Red Sox and he's hitting 45 home runs a year. Yeah. Um, 
you know, Brady Anderson for, for 10 years. And listen, Brady I like David Ortiz. That's I, a great I, name I, job. I, I love, you know, I, I like David Ortiz. I like the Red Sox. I went to, to law school over there. I watched him play. It was fun. But, you know, the, the, the reality is that, that there was no reason why we should treat what is obviously an unfair record as though it's a, it's a fair record. And, and, you know, all baseball fans know this. Like, off the top of your head, how many home runs did Hank Aaron hit? It's 755, right? So, like, how many, off the top of your head, how many home runs did, did Barry Bonds have? Correct. I, I, 780. I think it was 20 more. I'm not tripping. Seven. You have no idea, right? No, you have no I, idea also, I know the 755. Right. I, I don't know the berries. Right, no, you don't know. Right? Yeah. And the, the reason you don't know is because you don't care. Uh-huh. And the reason you don't care is because it, sorry. And the, the, right, and the reason you don't care is because it doesn't matter. Yeah, <laughs> right? because sure. because every baseball fan in their heart of heart knows that, that Barry Bond is not the all-time home run leader. I, I agree that with that 100. percent and, and all the hell will catch for it. Who cares? Uh, it's baseball. You got to catch everything. When it comes down to baseball, go guys. Let's not worry. It's getting fixed. They're making the bases bigger. Okay, yeah. so everything will be fixed. <laughs> I don't the, understand what what was that? No about? one does. It's so safety. So, so the rule is safety. That, that that's the, the main thing is safety. Making bouncy house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. exactly right. <laughs> or it should be like a little bubble that you're in that you just carry and run around the base. But now making the bases bigger. I always said that I think it was probably Rob Manfred's son who he just gave a job in the board meeting and they never used any of his ideas and he's just really an idiot. But this one <laughs> idea, he's like, he's like, all right, Ned, what do you got? He's like, well, uh, what if we uh. Made the bases bigger. You know, Genius. just like he's just the one kid with a bad idea. Hey everybody, appreciate you guys checking us out. If it's your first time, welcome home, baby. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe button, turn on all those notifications by hitting that bell right there. Really appreciate y'all. And remember, without you guys, there is no us. Let's keep the woke out of sports and keep it in between the sidelines.